Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I have an extreme declutter and organization of my kitchen. I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and let's just get started. Okay, so here is under our sink. No judgment here, people. But this is what it looks like right now. Tons of like product under here, obviously, that I want to organize better. It's not even organized at all. It's just like thrown into this pail here and who knows like what's deep down in there. I don't know. So it'd be nice to know everything that I actually have so I don't buy anything that I don't need. And then we got another pail here. These pails just take up so much space in here. I, I mean, I don't need both of them either. I'll probably throw, well, I don't need to throw it out, but I'll probably just move it. Um, but it kind of goes deep down in there. These cabinets are really old, so they're not like the prettiest cabinets. Um, but you can't even see back there because of all the stuff up here, but. Basically, it needs a ton of love. So, um, I'm just going to start by clearing everything out. Um, kind of cleaning it up a little bit. I was going to get some contact paper, which I forgot to do. So, maybe I'll, I'll organize everything today and I'm, tomorrow I might have to do that part. Just come back in and, and then put everything back in. But, well, let's just start off by taking everything out, wiping it down, and then figuring out how we can better organize this space. I want to kiss you before the sun goes down. It's what you're doing, making me feel like I'm falling. And when you're moving, I can hear So we are going to be tackling tons of areas in the kitchen in today's video. But I needed to start off with under the sink because it was going to be the biggest project. As you could see, it was a disaster. Just prod like products strewn everywhere. It was disgusting. So I just kind of wanted to knock this one out of the way to kind of rev me up for the rest of the kitchen. Um, but as you saw, I just took everything out and I decided to sweep in there because it just seemed easier to kind of clean up. Um, the bottom of our cabinet definitely needs a new um, flooring. We had to take the last one we had out because it, we had some leaking and it was a whole thing. But at least it looks a little bit better after the organization and cleaning up. So I was happy about that. But after we tidy up the space under here, I'm going to do a little bit of organization. I picked up the home edits. Um containers that they sell at Walmart. Um, I loved them. I got the laundry edit version because I felt like those particular containers were going to work really well under here and I'll show you what they look like. they look like <clears throat> got two of these like style bins like it has handles this way so you could use it like a normal bin I suppose and then 
if you want to use it this way so you can easily grab things out of there's two of those two of these like narrower bins that you can stack on each other which is nice and then one little turntable which has like the lower sides so you can easily grab things out of them all right let's put this together you close maybe hold your hand a little while somehow i know you're gonna be the girl that i'll end up calling my own we ride around in style sleeves rolled up glasses on and then you make that smile and my heart starts racing when i'm with you and here is the final look very happy about it so I made it so it made sense to me I just shoved the pail in the back that's like my cleaning pail so like when I'm basically when I'm cleaning the bathroom I use that um, but I got all of my like daily stuff here or things that I need more often so like my thieves cleaner my thieves spray bottle my power wash to use to clean the sink and glass cleaner because I'm always doing that and then in this little one, I have my dishwasher pods and like dishwasher cleaner and then some extra dish soap. But as you can see, they're kind of hidden, but that's okay because I'm not going to be using those daily. That's just storage for extra stuff. But what I really wanted to make sure was that this would be an easy grab. So I always just keep my dishwasher pods in the nice handy little container that it comes in they make them so you can easily open and close like this so no need to get a whole new container for something that works perfectly fine but I just made sure it was in this nice like easily open container here so I can just open the cupboard grab it go so I really like that and then over here is like my other cleaners I got just a bunch of cleaning products down in this thing are also things I don't need on a regular basis just like extra sponges baking soda for tough cleaning jobs um, magic erasers so like extra sponges and stuff will go in there and then this one is kind of a random <laughs> a random one but this is what I had left over so it's just like an extra soap dispenser extra soap that I clearly was excited about fall so I like got rid of my <laughs> summer soap for some fall soap but there's some left so I'm gonna keep it and this is my magic concoction I use for mattress cleaning if you have kids potty training or just kids in general this um, a little concoction helps get out stains and smell so well so I've just literally kept it in the spray bottle because I've had to use it a few times and it's just nice to come in handy but that is it I'm very happy with it this cover needs a little love like I said it would be nice to get a new 
floor or bottom on it so it is nice and secure and then after that I would use some contact paper just to make sure it's easily wipeable and like that but I love that everything is off the ground there's no products that are on or like touching the bottom of the cabinet so I'm happy about that and this will make it super easy to keep track of everything organize it and if we do have any mice problem again um, it'll be easy to manage that situation but let us move on to the next thing also I just wanted to show Lainey um, she was fighting her nap for a long time this whole time I was working on that cabinet she was fighting nap and this is how she fell asleep this is where her pillow is <laughs> <laughs> and this is how she's laying. She's just a little angel. But I'm glad she's sleeping finally. <laughs> Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said. It's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am. It's like I'm wasted. And I won't waste it. And I promise that I, I will stay. Okay, so we're gonna show you some of the other little areas we're going to be um, working on today, or probably tomorrow, to be honest. But here's our oven. This is the drawer next to it. It is full of random like utensils, um, pot holders. It's a small little drawer. Um, so I just want to make better use of it, but that's what's in there. <laughs> Pretty standard kitchen drawers. Um, our silverware drawer looks so bad right now. Okay, so this is the silverware drawer right now. Um, like some things in here I bought or like pre just recently purchased and haven't found a home for them. This definitely needs work it's bugging me every moment i open it up below it oh see you can't even open this up more kind of random kitchen gadgets measuring cups scale um just yeah there's that one of my favorite places my kids like to play okay see i can't even close it and then, oh my goodness, and then in here we have like Ziploc bags and um, crock pot liners, tin foil, drying mats. It's not too bad, but I just want to make better use of this drawer. And then in here is full of all of our towels and um, in here is full of our towels and like cleaning rags and whatnot. This thing, this drawer is massive. So I kind of want to use this for something other than my towels because there's a ton, 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 ton of towels and rags in here that I no longer use. So this would be a whole lot less if I just kind of decluttered that. I'm thinking I want to put it in one of these drawers and like roll them up nice so they're easy to grab and then use this drawer for like my Tupperware. I feel like Tupperware would just so be so much easier to manage in a drawer and I hate that it takes up this really good area in my cupboards. So I kind of want to take those out, maybe try and fit them in this drawer down there and find a different use for the cupboards up here. Okay, it is the next day and my packages from Amazon arrived. I was so happy about that because I really wanted to get to organizing the rest of those drawers. So this is what I picked up. I got this like in drawer knife organizer because I really want to get the, the knives off the countertops and I thought this was a nice sleek little thing to use to do that it fits my drawer I checked just to make sure um, and this was only like 10 bucks so awesome and then I picked up a huge pack of these um, like drawer dividers 
um, from Amazon as well. And I'm hoping they will work well in my drawers, like, because they're adjustable and everything. Old cabinets are always much smaller than the brand new ones, so I just wanted to find something that I could work in my tiny little drawers to help um, just make things a little bit more organized. So first we're going to put this bad boy to use, clean out the drawer by the oven, and we will go from there. is the knife set up I'm really happy how well it worked out that all of my knives well not all of my knives are in here yet some are dirty in the dishwasher but I think the rest should be able to fit in here it only said room for nine but maybe that's for like much larger knives I mean I only have a few of the larger knives so if you have lots of these tiny little normal knives they fit a ton of those in there and I put the scissors in the back there for now. I don't know if it's going to stay there, but I kind of like it hidden away. I don't know. But there's the old knife block that can now get rid of. Not the cutest thing. <laughs> um, but before I get to organizing the rest, because I have like all of these um, utensils over here, I just kind of already went through and decluttered some of them out. Before I go and organize these, I kind of want to figure what I have in the rest of my drawers just so I can best decide how I want to put them. So, I'm going to move on over to the silverware drawer and take care of that next. Songs, sick and tired of the songs. I'm so tired. was very ready to tackle the silverware drawer today because it was a disaster it was dirty and it had been a while since I had, like organized it or tidied it up at all so I was really excited to just take everything out I kind of organized my utensils on the countertop um, with like pieces just so I could see what I had see what I wanted to declutter see what I wanted to keep, that sort of thing. And then it also really helped me figure out how I wanted to organize things or where it would fit in my drawers because my drawers are kind of small. So I had to really, you know, kind of work that out so that everything fit and it worked out nicely. But I'm just giving the silverware tray a really good cleaning. It was done much too long ago. So we are cleaning that up really good before we start putting all of the silverware back. I 
So I'm just moving throughout the drawers and getting all of the like gadgets and tools and utensils on the countertop just so I can see everything that I have so that I can see what I want to declutter, get rid of, um, and also try to figure out how I want to best organize it. So as you can see, I have so many things on my countertop. It was a little overwhelming, but I tried to categorize them anyways to make it a little bit easier. And then I'm just organizing it throughout the three different cabinet or drawers. Instead of doing one at a time, it helped me so that I could better figure out where I wanted to put things as well as like where it would fit because that was a big issue since our drawers were pretty small and <laughs> there's only a few of them. So I really needed to figure out what was going to fit where and just does it make sense in that spot, that kind of thing. So you're going to see me tweak it around a little bit, but just make sure that you stay till the end because you'll see the final product. I really struggled with that drawer with the tin foil and everything I just it was just kind of awkward and it didn't make sense I knew I wanted to put my towels in here but I didn't know what to do with the other things in this drawer so I eventually took them out and put them somewhere else because I was kind of had my mindset that I was going to put the towels here and the Tupperware down below and I'm really glad that I ended up making that decision. It worked out just fine but I'm just folding all my towels and my cleaning cloths really nice and neat into this drawer here and I'm going to add some more of those dividers in here too to just kind of help everything stay in their own lane and I just it was very satisfying to me to see it all nice and neat in here as you can see in my used to be towel drawer it was just a disaster and everything was just shoved in there and it was really hard to shut the drawer so I am happy with how it turned out Okay, so we moved all of the Tupperware down here. It's not like the prettiest 
but I feel like this is gonna work a whole lot better than having them above us in a cabinet. At least they're like con like contained in here. They're not gonna fall on top of you, you know? There's just that, that always Tupperware struggle. So, you know, we got the lids together, we have like the prepping containers all together, and these are like the random other ones for leftovers and whatnot. But what I like most about that is that I freed up a ton of space up here now so I gotta kind of tidy it up but that's a lot of real estate right there I can do something with that so I'm gonna try and figure out what is the best way to organize here or what I can put up there there's a couple little appliances that I had to take out of the drawers down here that could find a home up there maybe some other things like everything else, I'm just going to have to play around with it and see what I like, but we will see. Okay, so here it looks. Yeah. It may not like look much better, but it's going to work a lot better. And there's a lot of space here now to add things because what I realized from organizing is you think you've organized everything and then you realize some of your stuff isn't even here. Like maybe I got a ton of things in the dishwasher or I know I have things down in boxes that we haven't unboxed yet from when we were supposed to be moving. So it's good to have a little extra space but I kind of have up in the corner there are like disposable silverware and cups just extras from parties but good to have on hand if you need anything strainers these are kind of lesser used items like random cake pans um, like holiday cake pans my um, can koozies and this thing is like a pyrex carrier super handy but I just kind of keep it up there bowls casserole type dishes there and then over here are the little small appliances that needed a better home so we use our Nutribullet every day so that's down here at the bottom also use our little mini um, waffle maker or whatever you want to call it very frequently too so that's right there and then up here like cooking things like measuring cup cheese grater measuring bowls scale um, in the back there I have the tin foil in the um, crock pot liners which is not my favorite location but we don't use those on a regular basis so it'll be just fine the way it is future like that it hurts so giving something worse to pass the time don't you want to have fun
silverware drawer looks so much nicer, nice clean. Um, tray here, everything is nice and organized. Our silverware, kids silverware, just some a couple kitchen small kitchen gadgets, straws, um, like wine accessories, um, and medicine accessories. I guess you can call it, you know, like syringes and medicine, measuring cups, chip clips, apple slice, just kind of things that are used frequently and things that we kind of want right ready for the grab and then the next drawer are these items i just kind of put like party serving type things in this little area here are our um 21 day fix measuring cups that we use often we have more which is why i kind of made a lot of room for them they're just in the wash or the dishwasher um, like measuring spoons and cups, ice cream, um, pizza cutters down here. And then I just threw the Ziplocs in here because I wanted these easy to grab too. The box was just kind of really not helpful. So I just took them out of the box and stuck them in that little area. But I think it works out just fine. And then down here we have all the beautiful towels cleaning cloths. I love this drawer. This makes me so happy. I know if my kids were to know this was like this, they are going to tear it up. So maybe I'll just pretend that I didn't do this so they don't tear it up for me. And then down here, as you saw, got all of the, um, what do you call those? Tupperware there. Yeah, looks good. And that is going to be it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got tons of motivation to declutter or organize the space in your home. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!